my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an interview with my friend Fury, who runs a record label for currently and formerly incarcerated people called Die Jim Crow. Him and his team go into prisons and they record with people who are currently serving time. But he also started a project right now where he is bringing PPE into prisons. He's donating thousands of N95 masks, surgical masks, and other protective equipment to prisons that will accept his help. When the COVID-19 pandemic broke out, we felt a little bit helpless, you know, a little bit like what do we do as a record label for our community because we have so many people who are still inside. He's spending so much time on this. He's doing benefit concerts and all of this amazing stuff just because he saw a need and he knows that our loved ones are in there suffering, anxious, and he wanted to help. I will link all of Fury's contact information below as well as some benefit concerts that him and his team are putting on. You can log in through Facebook and other media platforms and you can watch, which is just fun and it helps raise money for PPP, 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 wow. And it helps raise money for PPE inside of prison. So it's the best of both worlds for us and our loved ones. Make sure you comment below, leave Fury some love, let him know what you think about what he's doing, all of the work that he does with and for incarcerated people. Without wasting any more time, here's my interview with Fury. My name is Fury Young, and I'm the executive director of DJC Records, Die Jim Crow, and we're a nonprofit record label for formerly and currently incarcerated musicians. When the COVID-19 pandemic broke out, we felt a little bit helpless, you know, a little bit like, what do we do as a record label for our community? Because we have so many people who are still inside, and... Um, me and my deputy director, B.L. Shirell, were just talking about it a bunch. And eventually the idea festered in my head and kind of got bigger and bigger to, well, why don't we just do a GoFundMe so we can not really be the middleman, but just directly give PPE to where it's most needed. So we started the campaign on, I think, April 13th. And since then, it's gone really well. We hit our initial goal of 10,000 within like three, four weeks. And then um, we doubled the goal because the, the need inside is not diminishing anytime soon. So right now it's at 20,000 goal. Um, we've sent over 8,000, excuse me, over 9,000 um, masks, mostly surgical masks, but a, a well over a uh, thousand KN95 masks as well, in addition. And we've sent them to four different states, um, one prison system in Ohio DOC, so they dispersed it throughout, and then three individual prisons, four individual prisons actually, in New York, Mississippi, Georgia, and Ohio. It's gone really well, and we're just gonna keep doing it. And one other thing we've been doing that's been fun has been doing these benefits, these performance benefits that, that have been really cool. We've been getting some amazing performers to come through and had some of our own artists on there too. Can you tell me a little bit more about the background of Die Jim Crow and a little bit more about the project aside from the PPE project that came in later? Sure. Yeah, well, I started Die Jim Crow in 2013 as basically a passion project. And um, I wanted to make one album. <laughs> and then many prisons and many collaborators later, it's turned into a record label. So basically, um, when I say I wanted to make one album, I wanted to do like a concept album like Pink Floyd, The Wall, something very, very epic. Um, and I still have plans to do that when the time is right. But uh, it's really grown a lot and um, like I said, as, as we got access to more prisons and more collaborators, it just expanded very organically. So now we, um, we have the label fully launching in June. We have our first single of the month coming out next week. Um, BL Shirelle's debut LP, which is called Asada Troy, comes out June 19th. And that will be our first full length album, 
as a label. It's a great album. It's 10 songs, uh, no filler. Definitely check it out. It will be up for pre-order pretty soon. And um, it's good music. That's awesome. I love every time I get to see you, which it's really a shame that we see each other once a year and we live so close to one another, yeah. but that's okay. Start, start doing picnics or something. I know, seriously, <laughs> socially distant right now, but, but I love when I see you every year at the conference because, and then you and your team come and you grow every year and you give your presentation and you guys are amazing. And last year, just for everybody watching, in October, we did an interview and unfortunately it came out horrible, not because of anybody that was included. It was just that the Wi-Fi in the room where we were in, we did it live, was terrible. But I will link that for you guys to watch because something that came up in there is that when you go into prison and you allow people to get back in touch with their creative side that a lot of times gets shut off in there, you're bringing a piece of freedom to them. And it speaks volumes. It's amazing. And I can only imagine that mm -hmm. it helps prepare them for their eventual release or for people that have those really long or life sentences. It helps them have a piece of the outside world and some freedom through their creativity. So I can't thank you enough. I push you guys whenever, wherever I can. That's why I asked you to come on here because once again, here you are in the middle of 500 things and a worldwide pandemic trying to save the world, the inside world and these forgotten people. Thanks bro. Did, you're welcome. Did you have any trouble trying to get these PPP did the, uh, into prisons? Did they give you some pushback? How did that go? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we have and we continue to. And it's, it's weird. I mean, look, I'm not here to shit on the prison system at large. I'm already running a label called Die Jim Crow. I think it's pretty obvious, you know, where I stand. But um, it's been unnecessarily difficult. And in ways that just don't really even make sense for a, bu a well-functioning bureaucracy as a bureaucracy should function, you know, if you're gonna be organized, be organized and have rules, but have them actually work, right? So like just trying to get PPE, like masks and hand sanitizer, just to get permission to send it in is pretty tough. Like I've had two people helping me. They've done most of the outreach to the facilities. It's like, you know, we'll call you back, we'll email you, they never do. It's been a lot of persistence. Um, and then sometimes like when we even make a connection, like we'll talk to one person once and then they just disappear. Like you can't reach them again and no one knows where they went. Um, but the good thing is that a couple of the places where we've been dealing, we have inside people. So that's like we started, we picked those prisons because we knew people there. So as orders are starting to come in, like on Wednesday, two big orders were just delivered. So now I'm starting to get report backs on that. Um, it looks like the women's prison in Georgia, they're being dispersed properly amongst the actual residents. I'm waiting to hear from the individual prison we sent to in Ohio. Um, in Ohio, we were doing a lot of donations because the cases are so many there. So we sent to one individual prison a bunch of KN95 masks, and then we sent to headquarters 5,700 surgical masks. And that order, see, it's also not just DOC. There's also a lot that goes on with this PPE business. It's like a weird cartel or something right now because the, and the federal government is making it a lot worse. So with the Ohio DOC headquarters order, it actually wasn't their fault at all, um, but the the shipment might be like being held by customs right now. We're not sure. My other supplier, that order was direct from China, but my supplier in Pennsylvania had a big order come in that he was gonna disperse, including our order in that big order of his, and it was held at customs for 10 days with no explanation. And the customs plant was three miles away from their office. So there's a lot of weird shit, to put it simply, going on with the feds right now. And this is, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a very like rational person and I like fact-based statements and shit, but this, I can't make this up, bro. This is straight from my vendor. Um, so there's been a lot of obstacles, whether it be the prison system or whether it be just the PPE business right now. First of all, I can be a conspiracy theorist and I can fall down the rabbit hole. So I need more people <laughs> like you in my life because especially with this, but I love the way that you put that where 
I get a lot of people that come to me or I have in the past that say, you know, you are so against the prison system and it's like us versus them and you're part of the problem and you hate the authority. That's not it at all. I'm a woman scorned. I've been in the position where I've had things unjustly done to me. I've witnessed things unjustly done to not only the person I love, but I represent 60,000 people who go through this. But what you said is so beautiful. And that's what I've been trying to adopt a lot recently too, is listen, you have your job to do. I'm trying to help everybody out. How can we meet in the middle? And the fact that you keep pushing and you've gone in the face of rejection and you've heard the no's and you're still fighting and you're not bitter and you're not angry and you're like, listen, I'll do this where I could do it. Maybe I'll start a trend. I think that's incredible. And that's a lesson we can all take from you and implement in our own lives, especially when dealing with the system. Because the only way to make a change is to be empathetic and, and sympathetic from both sides even though we all have dealt with those slaps in the face the being turned away from visit after driving for days spending tons of money on hotel rooms or trying to get pp into prisons and save lives so i love that i don't want to keep you too long i know that you have something going on right after this because you're crazy busy trying to get it all done and fit it all in so where can everybody reach you how can we help you and what did i forget to ask you that you want to add um, well, as always, you're very thorough, so you didn't really forget anything. <laughs> but um, I would like to include, of course, the link to the GoFundMe. On Sunday, we have our next weekly benefit of a bunch of different performers. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And all you need to do is go to diegemcrow.com slash Zoom. Um, at, at that time at 8 p.m. Eastern and you just click like the first link you see and it will take you right there. You don't need to register. You'll be right in on the Zoom. And there's also an option for people who don't feel like watching on Zoom. You can also watch it streaming on Facebook. So all the information you need is at diegemcrow.com slash Zoom at the time of the Zoom, 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, March 24th. And um, Last but not least, please look out for our debut record, Asada Troy from BL Shirelle, and give both of us a follow. So she's BL Shirelle, and we're just Die Jim Crow on Instagram and most other platforms too. So we're real easy to find. And, um, and just thank you. Thank you, Ro. Thank you, everyone watching who cares about what's going on. I feel like as the outside world, is starting to have this like fake <laughs> thought that it's like okay to go outside and stuff um and open back up and all this crazy different information from all these different sides i think that while all that's going on out here i think people in prison are still really feeling the anxiety like you said and um it's not going to get better in there anytime soon so we just need to keep pushing keep yeah. supporting I love that. Thank you so much. I will put all of the links in the description box below. As always, I would love to have you back. Maybe when that record comes out, I know you're going to be super busy, yeah, totally. but I'd love to have you and BL oh, on we'll or make, whoever we, wants to come on. Our busyness, you know, revolves around things that are worth doing and your program is totally worth doing. So we would be happy to make the time honored. Thank you. I appreciate it. And one last question, because it just popped in my head. Are you just working with DOC or has the BOP gotten involved? Like the feds? Yeah. Haven't reached out to the feds yet. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be a fight. They're rough, but I was just curious. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. If you know any people in the feds, we could talk to. Adam's in the feds. I mean like bureaucracy people. Yeah. 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 Let me see you know? if I can get you some information, but again, it's going to be a fight in the feds. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah. D does Alan have a proper PPE? They give them, I believe it's a surgical mask. I know that they, I know he has one. I don't know how often they change them. I know he's wearing it constantly. He's working out in it. So I don't know how safe they are after however many uses. But again, I don't know if they're reissuing them and if they do, how often they are. We're so grateful that the virus hasn't reached there. They really don't have many cases in his county, thank God. But it's, I mean, as with anywhere, it's a matter of time. So yeah. I know they're doing the best they can. His facility really has stepped up. They're taking temperatures of COs before they even can go on into the facility. So they're doing a good job, but mm. this, this bug is it's serious. And like yeah. you said, it's, 
I'm scared for after Memorial Day when people have this false sense of security. We're so bored. We're so sick of being inside. We don't want to look at our four walls anymore. And especially being from around the Jersey Shore, I'm scared for what's going to come in a couple of weeks because people are going to let loose. So, yeah, I know it's this really weird limbo I feel like yeah. we're in. Yeah. Like people think that it's okay to go outside and hang out, but it's really not. It's just yeah. weird. And like, there's so much, there's just too much different information out there. Yes, exactly. You know, like while we have some states reopening, you know, we also are seeing like the highest numbers of infection happen now. So yes. just a lot of shit is really confusing and doesn't add up. It does. And that just makes your job and what you're doing so much more important. And, and really because once it spreads out here, CEOs, vendors, people are still going into these facilities, even yeah. though there's no visit, even though we can't go back in, which I just heard this morning, they're trying to push visit to come back to make money. I don't know if that's true or not. That's not based off of facts. It's just based off of something that I heard, but then we could be bringing that back in there. And as much as we want to see our loved ones, I just think I don't want to do it prematurely. So all we need is one, out, one case. So, yeah. all right. I've babbled enough. Anything else before we go? That's all. All right. Cover thank you base. so much. Please keep me posted. Good luck with everything. And everybody go check out Fury, Die Jim Crow, BL, Sherelle. Did I say it right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, I called her the wrong name on our first interview. I felt so bad. <laughs> yeah, Sherelle. But, yeah. Is Fury um, just not the coolest person? He is a whole mood. I love his vibe. Make sure you guys go check him out. Comment below. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of him and his team in the future. If you're interested in watching a full interview that I did with Fury, I referenced it in the video, just click that video there. And if you're not already subscribed, we're in a fight. What are you waiting for? Click that little circle down there or the red box below. Give this video a thumbs up so YouTube knows to push out this content and share information like this incredible service that Fury's doing out of the kindness of his heart. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.